Good morning all. In this video, we will see uh, care of phototherapy, care of newborn under phototherapy. So, uh, first we will see what is meant by phototherapy. Phototherapy, it is an exposure of high intensity uh, light to the uh, newborn in order to uh, change the unconjugated that is a bilirubin, fat soluble bilirubin into water soluble bilirubin and this will be excreted in the uh, motion and in the urine. So, if you see here the mechanism will go with photo isomerization or photo oxidization. So, what is the main purpose? Purpose means uh, to reduce the bilirubin amount in the newborn and what we will see the what is the indications. Indication if you see uh, preterm baby, small four date baby, newborn babies uh, having uh, uh, jaundice that is yellow discolorization uh, throughout the skin and uh, hyperbilirubinemia status. Uh, uh, if the bilirubin count is more than uh, 12 to 15 milligram per deciliter in the serum level, in the preterm if it is more than 11 milligram per deciliter level and uh, if they have any RH incompatibility uh, such as complication of erythroblastosis uh, or icterus gravis uh, uh, neonatrum. So, like that uh, conditions we can go with the uh, phototherapy that is uh, exposure to the uh, billy light that is a uh, blue green light uh, may be of ultraviolet or uh, infrared red uh, radiations for the uh, newborn baby. So, we will see uh, what are the types of uh, uh, phototherapy. So, if you see two types of phototherapy is there one is conventional method is there another one is fibro optic method is there. Conventional method is uh, this is uh, giving a fibro uh, this is giving a uh, high intensity uh, uh, light. So, this depend upon the uh, wavelength, distance and exposure of the skin uh, of the newborn. So, if you see what is the distance uh, of the uh, uh, newborn and the uh, wavelength, if you see it should be a 45 to 60 uh, centimeter distance when we place in the phototherapy unit. And the wavelength if you see uh, it has to be 420 to 480 nanometer wavelength of uh, intensity should be there. When we are placing the baby, we should cover the baby eyes and uh, if the male baby is there, cover the genitalia of the baby and always monitor the baby hydration uh, has to be monitored, temperature has to be monitored, whether the baby is having any loose tools and side effects has to be monitored and should be recorded by the nurse. Second one is uh, fibro optic. This can be uh, given by blanket or uh, uh, like a fibro optic pads. So, this can be covered over the uh, baby's uh, skin and this will be uh, less complications than the uh, conventional method of uh, phototherapy. So, if you see uh, the uh, babies, uh, it will be easily available and double uh, phototherapy mechanism also is there. Conventional method and uh, fibro optic uh, blanket or pad also can be used. The beneficial is uh, more by using the double type of uh, phototherapy. And what is the procedure? First, we have to explain the procedure to the mother that is uh, you, your child, your uh, newborn is having this problem, hyperbilirubinemia. So, controlling the bilirubin, we have to place the baby in a uh, phototherapy unit because it is a separation from the mother. No? So, and uh, uh, next we have to check the uh, body weight of the uh, baby. Next we have to check the temperature of the baby uh, and we have to advise the mother to feed the baby as much as possible and we have to clean the genitalia and diaper can be removed and uh, uh, it can be uh, kept clear. Then uh, we have to see the phototherapy unit whether the light, electricity, everything is uh, correct, the bulb, everything is working properly and the temperature, the, the radiant warmer or incubator uh, is uh, in a proper uh, running situation, no ants, uh, no insects, nothing should be there and it should be carbolized and sterilized properly and they can maintain a distance between the uh, baby and the uh, uh, light, uh, billy light and uh, and these are the measures the, uh, uh, during the procedure they can take then place the baby and continuously we can uh, uh, each hour uh, we have to closely monitor the baby whether the iPod in a proper manner whether the genitalia is covered positions can be changed and uh, whether the baby is having any skin rashes or like that and uh, uh, when uh, 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 and the parents can be called in between to feed the baby and at the end uh, when we can switch off the a phototherapy unit and take the baby and give to the mother and uh, we can record whatever the uh, procedure and whatever the observation we have done during the phototherapy unit. 
the next one is care care of phototherapy so care of phototherapy is very important uh, as a nursing aspects first one is to find out the side effects so many side effects are there uh, in the phototherapy so first one is uh, uh, decreased interest uh, to food okay feeding uh, is there then dehydration loose tools will be there weight loss will be there hypothermia or hyperthermia can be happen for the fetus and uh, jitterness uh, convulsions can happen brown's baby syndrome the body can be changed in a dark uh, colorization and uh, uh, dna damage can be there rectal uh, problems and uh, male genitalia uh, defect can be happen for the uh, fetus uh, skin uh, they can get rashes or uh, itching or burns can can be happen uh, for the, uh, uh, the newborn baby so these are the mainly side effects so these side effects has to be monitor when the um, uh, baby the newborn baby on the phototherapy unit and second one is uh, skin care skin care so we have to monitor the skin of the uh, newborn whether any rashes is there exoriation is there any burns is there any uh, ir irritation is there that we have to identify and clean the area any emollient is there we can use uh, for preventing the skin damage. Uh, second one is eye care. Eye care uh, mainly concentrated uh, that is eye shield or pad can be uh, used. So this uh, always uh, during the phototherapy it has to be in a correct position. It should not come and cover the nose or the nose bridges and irritations can be avoided. So uh, we can come and uh, near to the phototherapy unit we can see whether the eye pad in the same position or not and uh, any discharges from the eyes we can see a wiping moment is uh, there or not any uh, rectinal uh, uh, defect is there that we can monitor during the phototherapy then uh, second one third one is genital genital care genital care is very important the baby can pass the uh, stools uh, frequently so we can count how much stools the uh, uh, baby is uh, passing like a diaper how many diaper has changed any uh, any clean is there in between we can stop clean it then we can continue the procedures otherwise uh, the uh, the baby will get restless during the uh, procedure because of urination or because of uh, 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 bubble empty or uh, whatever the um, uh, genital uh, irritations will be there and infections can be happen in the genital area genital care diaper changing is very much important and uh, next one is uh, we have to see any uh, hypocalcemia defect is there that is when we are monitoring serum calcium can be monitored if it is less than 7 milligram per deciliter the baby can go with jitterness uh, then uh, tiredness and they can go with the uh, convulsions or seizures that can be monitored for the uh, monitor for the newborn any diet area or like that uh, is there then assess for uh, hydration hydration demand feeding is there baby is crying for feeding then we can give the feeding or in between baby sleeping also in between the parents can come and uh, take uh, take the baby and uh, feed the baby whenever necessary adequate fluid is very much essential if the baby is of uh, uh, not uh, breastfeeding nt2 feeding also can be given for the baby so adequate hydration is very much essential for the uh, newborn baby next if you see uh, uh, neuro uh, behavior status how the awakening style awakening status sleeping status how they are uh, giving a stress for urination bubble empty bladder empty uh, how the um, uh, baby is uh, uh, behave interacting with their uh, uh, parents or the nurse who is accompanying so these and all monitor how the neuro behavior status of the uh, newborn then sensory deprivation any sensory deprivation immediately after uh, uh, offing the light from the phototherapy we can remove the ipad from the newborn then the newborn can uh, see the uh, parents and the mother when the mother is feeding this will give a psychological uh, uh, relation with the mother and the uh, newborn also and next we can see monitor the vital signs monitor the vital signs is very much important frequently we can check the temperature whether any hyperthermia is there stop the therapy keep under the fan and make the uh, 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 baby comfortable then we can again put under the or uh, uh, phototherapy unit so uh, these are the main measures that comes under uh, care of uh, uh, phototherapy units and we have to always keep an interaction of the parents parents has to be accompanying with the uh, nursery area where the phototherapy unit is there they can come visit the uh, newborn and uh, whenever the uh, feeding is there the mother can give the feeding for the uh, newborn uh, babies under the phototherapy unit this will give a hydration for the baby and check the uh, weight of the baby whether any weight loss is there whether any dehydration is there everything can 
be monitor and last one is recording and reporting all the measures we are seeing we can record and report in the nurses and any risk is there we can intimate any side effects is there we can uh, immediately intimate to the uh, pediatrician and we can save the life of the fetus our main aim is to reduce the bilirubin so next measure is uh, monitoring the bilirubin count okay every every day they can monitor how the bilirubin count is there if the bilirubin count for the preterm uh, baby less than 11 mg per deciliter and for the term baby less than uh, uh, 15 or 12 mg per deciliter then we can stop the phototherapy unit and we can give a uh, uh, measures uh, for keeping the baby along with the mother and sunlight therapy or they can continue so these are the things comes under phototherapy so today in our video we have seen about what is phototherapy what is the purpose of phototherapy what is the indication of phototherapy what is the nursing procedure comes under phototherapy and uh, detailly we have discussed about what is the uh, nursing uh, care comes under the phototherapy hope uh, uh, you have uh, known about this uh, care of phototherapy so we will meet in uh, another video